when I was hauling the excavator home, I had uh, this tire blew out, and if you ever change a tire on the side of the interstate, you know what kind of situation that is, especially a busy one. So I put the spare on and went on my way, made it almost all the way home, and I heard some clicking, and these lug nuts had worked loose, and it wallowed out the wheel, ruined all the studs and the lug nuts. That wheel you just seen, I just put back on here. I'd take this apart, so I ordered the right stuff. So that's a good wheel I put that old tire on. But, so, what, you could get away with just replacing the studs and the lug nuts, and the wheel, of course. But, this trailer's due for brakes anyways. Not so much the pads, but I think the drums are just wore out. So, we're just going to put brand new everything on here. This is my dad's trailer, and I may have used it once or twice. So I do kind of feel obligated to fix it. But luckily these these are real easy to change. These nuts here you should be able to turn them with your hand. They shouldn't be very tight. if that came with the bolts for that or not.
righty. There's there's the old. Okay, here's what came in the kit. It actually came with two of these, so I'm gonna do the other side. That way this front axle has all new stuff. And maybe later on we'll do the back axle. Okay, we got new lug nuts. I don't think it came with those bolts that hold the brake on. All right, brand new brakes, new magnet. Sweet. Bearing race is already in here. Studs are already pressed in, so. Yeah, I guess this thing's ready to put back on. This is all even together. I don't even have to mess with that. Sweet. I don't know. Seems like a good idea anyways. see if uh, all the holes line up oh yeah put in these to keep it from rusting I guess but okay so it's not super critical these are packed you know a hundred percent But I try to get them pretty good. And you can see it running out in between. That's what you want.
grease seal has a spring in here so if you take and you fill this up with grease whenever you're hammering it in between the spring and here it keeps that spring from popping out which in return keeps all the grease from leaking out into your brake drum whole heck of a lot just enough Let's see if we can bearing was just a smidge tight. There it is. Which I guess is good. Pop that back out of the middle. Okay, now this is something I think everybody does a little bit different as far as tensioning wheel bearings. So I'm going to show you how I do it. What I do is I torque it down pretty good and then start spinning it. And then torque it down a little more. And spin it. I do this for a little while and let them bearings get seated in there real good then I'll back it off because there's because I'm feel there's quite a bit of resistance now where it's tight but uh, there is supposed to be there's like a certain spec on it I don't know what it is I kind of just do it by feel but there's supposed to be a certain amount of uh, free play in this like it's supposed to have a little tiny bit of free play because whenever you're driving down the road and these bearings heat up, they'll expand and that little bit of free play tightens right up. If they're too tight, they try to expand and they can't and then it causes problems. Let's see if it'll tighten anymore. Now we're pretty much maxed. While this is like this, I'm going to go ahead and pump it full of grease.
Look at that big blob of crap. Right in there will be good. It's just a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Holes line up and everything. and put this send a new grease cap with it I'm just putting this old tire on. Temporarily, so we can adjust the brakes. Okay, that'll let us. Oh, that's, I know y'all can't feel it, but that is the perfect amount of wiggle. I mean, it's just a tiny, tiny bit. Let's go back here and adjust these brakes. I just now noticed there's an L on this one, so I guess it's for the left side. Luckily, I put it on the left side. I thought both sides were the same. So anyways, to adjust these brakes, there's these little rubber things under here. Normally, there's just one. This one has two for some reason. And there's a little thing in here you spin with a straight screwdriver. One way tightens it up and one way loosens it up. I don't know which is which. I always just turn it. See if it gets better or worse. And then go up till it stops. Back it off a little bit. Then I'll leave it right there like that. There's pretty much no resistance. Maybe I'll back it off just a hair more. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let's address the wiring on here. So, I don't know why when people mess with these, they put these wire nuts and these little pinch connectors and none of this is waterproof. It's probably partially, probably part of the problem why this don't work, but anyways. Anyways, and there's there's no polarity to these magnets on these brakes. There's no positive and negative. You can hook them up either way and they work the same. So you don't have to worry about that. So essentially these gotta be spliced into these. Didn't leave much wire sticking out of here, did they? Not really. That's a piece of household electrical wire. That's solid copper. That needs to be cut. Okay. 
Is there enough room for me to sit up? Okay, so to give this wire some more, well, do these reach? Actually, that will reach. We'll splice. See, we got to have three wires going in. We got these two things that are all corroded up. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut that back. Get some fresh copper. That needs to go to that. And that needs to go to that. Then that needs to go. So we're actually going to have four wires connected. I'd rather do three and two. Well, I guess it'd be three and three. This could use a little. Let's get a little more exposed here. I think I'm going to add in a little jumper wire from here to here. That way those two are together and then I'll have three and three. So here's how I do this. I give these little twists so they kind of hold themselves together. Then I'm using these solder shrink tubes, which is pretty nice. I just got a little piece of wire that's a similar gauge. I'm just kind of make a physical connection with it somewhat there. At least enough to get this on. These are nice because it glues it, heat shrinks it, and solders it all in one. seconds to cool and that's nice because it solders it and these two ends glue and it seals it so it's good and waterproof the wire nuts that's great for your house your house doesn't drive down the road here let's see kind of go like that oh, we'll put that right about here I want that to be 
little longer, actually. Okay. Now I'm just going to do the same exact thing here. Just kind of make a little physical connection. The same with this and sometimes if I can't get them to bend I just kind of hold it up there and just let the solder do the work I think it's better if you can get a little twist on them but sometimes it's hard to get these things to twist like they're supposed to If you can see on camera, but once it gets hot enough to melt, you start seeing it run out.
got these little pieces of angle welded on here. Had one here that broke off. I'd say this wire should be not doing that. The other side, well, all the wires run down this side. But I'll find something to put a zip tie around there. But yeah, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Y'all don't really need to see that. It's the exact same thing. Alright, so this bald tire, obviously I don't want to run that all the time, but this tire has saved me in a pinch a couple of times, so it's a good spare. So I've got a new tire. Let's go see if we can get it mounted. I put one on there and now I'm going to get another one. It's not a whole lot more than a 10 ply, but I don't know if I'll be able to mount this. These things are pretty stiff. I've had it sitting out in the sun all morning, so we've got a pretty, we've got the best chance possible of mounting this. It's good and hot from being in the sun. We can have. <clears throat> Let me see if I can work the rim into this first. Usually, the one side you can get on pretty easy. progress nonetheless
Congratulations. We got the easy style on. That actually wasn't that bad. I'm out of breath. You'd think I just ran a marathon, but that actually, I've had a lot worse tires. All these days I'm gonna buy a tire machine. Until then, it'd be cool if this thing just aired up. This tire is a lot heavier than the 10 plies. I'm hoping they last a lot longer too. That one ain't coming loose. This right here is this other 14 ply I just put on here like a couple weeks ago. So I'm actually going to move it to the other side on this front axle after I put the new brake drum and stuff on that side. That way the front axle has two brand new brakes, bearings, everything, and two new 14 ply tires. Then over here, then these 10 ply tires, which is Hercules or something, I've been buying from the local tire store. And... I mean, they they do a lot better than the ones the ones that say like high run on them. Don't get them; those are junk. We've had them; they look like new and blow out. But these ones they seem to do okay. But these these used to be like eighty bucks, which wasn't bad. 
And I think that included mounting them and everything. Now I think they're like 120. And that 14 ply tire was like 150. So for $30 more, I'm going to try these two, see how they do. And see, these are a year old. I bought both of these last year when I went to go buy that truck. So these are a year old. They probably only have a couple thousand miles on them. And I mean, they still look good. But yeah, now I'm going to do brakes on this side and we'll be done. I'm a, I think I'm going to paint these wheels too while I'm at it. I'm not going to really. I'm just going to clean them with some alcohol or something and just spray them. I'm not too awfully concerned about wire brushing and making them perfect. But I'll probably paint this wheel too. I kind of like that color. That like grayish color looks pretty good. So anyways, I'm going to do this other side and we'll come back. i got a few other things I want to do to this. Eh, I'm going to end this video here. Got these wheels painted so that looks a lot nicer um, new brakes both sides front axles new 14 plies on the front 10 plies on the background like a year old they pretty good shape um also looking for ideas back here because when you're loading stuff it likes to pick up the front of the truck so usually i throw like a block of wood or something under here for this tail to hit so it don't come all the way down but i'd like to make some kind of swivel jack i mean even if it's fixed it'd be ideal if it was like a piece of square tubing and then a piece of pipe that slid over top where you could like pull a pin it would swing down then pull another pin and the jack would drop with holes so it was adjustable i seen some stuff like that on amazon but it was uh only rated for like two thousand pounds i want something that's at least four or five if anybody knows anything like that, it'd be more ideal if I could buy it, but... Or some ideas to make something. But yeah, basically something that'll twist and drop, or even... Might even just have a piece of square tube at a set height, where it just twists down. It'd be good, because my... Most of these trailers have them fold down ramps with the metal built in, like the one I made. Where when you're loading something, it hits the ground and... Load, but this one wasn't made that way for whatever reason this slide out ramps are i mean they're kind of nice it would be nice to have something there so don't lift up the front of a vehicle when you load and here's this side so those wheels look a lot better now that they're all the same color yeah i think i think that's kind of the way to go on them brakes you don't have to mess with the springs or anything just buy it bolt it on and you're good This thing's gonna need a deck. Well, not gonna need. This thing needs a trailer deck. And I'm gonna make a mount underneath there to hold the spare tire. So, might do a video on that. Maybe the deck. Then it's like, while the deck's off, might as well paint it. And then, running into that issue, how far do you go? So, stopping here for now. Anyways, y'all have a good day, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.